Okay, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to do a bench test of the Duet aircraft. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, turn the radio on. Gives you two beeps, and the red light is working. Okay. And you should always turn that on before you turn on the um, airplane with the battery. If you plug the battery in first, it's going to try to bind to something. That's not good. So always turn the radio on first. The transmitter. Okay. Now we're going to turn this over. And... Uh, very gently set it down because this thing is kind of delicate. I'm going to plug it in for the very first time. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Then I'm going to shove it in. And I, I, I bump. That's the problem. I bumped the transmitter and it started spinning. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to hold the transmitter with one hand and hold the airplane with the other. And I'm going to move the throttles up just a little bit. You can hear that. And they're spinning quite nicely. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is start a timer. Okay, I use a timer at the field sometimes. Most of my radios have a timer built in. Obviously this one does not, so I'm just going to use that as my timer. Now I'm going to test to make sure that the thing is working right. So I'm going to set the receiver down here, okay, where you can see it. There you go, you can see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure the uh, elevator is working. So if I pull back on the stick, okay, I'm going to pull back on the stick and the elevator goes up. Push forward on the stick and the elevator goes down. Okay. Now if you turn right, if you move the stick to the right, the left motor starts turning. Okay. You turn to move the stick to the left, the right one starts moving. So that'll pull it this way and a right turn. If I turn right, this is going to make it go that way. Okay. So I'm going to turn both um, as it's, okay, I'm at 25%, about 25% power, now I'm going to turn to the right, and that one's going like gangbusters, and this one almost stops. Hey, that one actually does stop. I'm going to turn to the left. Okay. So, it seems to be working appropriately. Obviously, it's probably better to test the left and right turn with the power up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to move the power up to like 50%. 75%. Hundred percent. Okay. Hundred percent. Right turn. Okay. Left turn. Up. Down. Okay. So it looks like it's all performing like it should. Um. So those are all the instructions on page six of the manual where you're testing all that. And I did note that when I, oh, I did note when I put the battery in, I put it as far forward as I could. Um, by the way, in there you can see a little red light and that's steady. Okay. If that thing's ever blinking, it means something's wrong with your transmitter. Okay. So now I'm going to unplug this. Pull the battery out, set it down carefully, unplug, and turn it over. Okay. And uh, 
now that it's unplugged you can turn this off so airplane seems to be working okay and um, uh, the next step will be to take it out and uh, do a test flight on it thank you for watching and you're going to get to see several flights of this um, and I'll also go into other details of, of uh, how you can improve this uh, there will be uh, instructions on how to adjust the uh, uh, trims uh, either mechanically or with these trim buttons and uh, so that's all coming up thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video